Gdyż No set? Yeah, yeah, just give me one set. UCLA commencement speech practice, take one. Okay. Good afternoon, students, faculty, fans. And then I just open my arms and, and wait. But wait, what are you waiting for, though? For the fucking applause, asshole. What do you think? Oh, yeah. These people fucking love me. It's a real honor to be here today to talk to you about college. I've been to three colleges. And I'm in the movies, so no big deal. <laughs> the thing about college is that it takes minds into space like a rocket. Follow? This is where I get my jetpack. Fire it up. Fly out over the audience. <laughs> Grab a few hands, you know, turn it back around, back on the stage. I don't know about that. You don't know if there are scientists that make jetpacks? There are scientists that make jetpacks. They they're not, they're not going to let us, like, fly it over the crowd. Well, I want to fucking say that anyway. I like how it sounds. It makes me sound smart. I was like you, student at UCLA, creative writing major, robotics minor. I dropped. But I'd like to begin my speech with, uh, I'd like to quote, I'd like to do a quote from one of my favorite authors, R.L. Stein. Read, read, read. Just don't read one type of book. Read different books by various authors so that you develop different styles. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Mr. Franco, you're a fucking movie Whoa, star. Don't say, you can't say that. Don't say that. I mean, Mr. Franco, you're a fucking movie star. And you're right. Maybe we should try something just a little more inspirational to the students. All right, take it easy, man. I'm getting there. It's a very scary time to graduate, but thank goodness that, you know, all us college graduates are guaranteed steady and lucrative jobs because of our college degrees. <clears throat> I don't think that's right. Well, actually, it is true because I went to college, and I know. I, I went to college, too, so I... Well, <laughs> somebody was sleeping in class. Well, I didn't, they didn't take a picture of me. <laughs> somebody was class. sleeping in class. Who doesn't fucking fall asleep in class? Well, we know you do. Who fucking doesn't fall asleep in class? <laughs> now is the time for us to help the less fortunate. Charity and service are very important to me. And that's just one of the ways that I remind myself of Barack Obama. What? Wait a minute. President Barack Obama. What? I'm I'm like I'm like him. Oh Jesus. He fucking reminds me of me. He reminds me of a young me. Barack Obama or Jim Franco. Hard for me to decide. As you go out into the world, it's important that you take a few chances and, and, and try new things. For example, let me tell you a little story about myself. Last year, I did a movie called Milk. Well, imagine my surprise when I found out that Milk was a name of a guy <laughs> and not my favorite drink. I mean, I love milk. The drink, chocolate milk. Never strawberry milk. And I did the movie anyway. Okay? And now, gay people can have jobs as doctors, teachers. It wasn't just because of the movie. Well, the movie had a lot to do with it. It really did. Maybe there was like one or two gay doctors before the movie, but... Now, if I want a gay doctor... It's really easy to find one. Well, graduating seniors, it's been a wild ride, I'm sure. Especially those of you that had me in your class last year. <laughs> I'm sure that was the highlight. So, what do we do now? What do we, what do we do now? 
I mean, we have all this knowledge and we know everything. What's there left to do? Go out, make babies. <laughs> Thank you. What? No. What do you mean, am I gonna do more? That was it. That was fucking fantastic. I know, I agree it was great, but I... Yeah, no, you agree. <laughs> I agree it was great. Oh, you agree? I agree, but... I... Very bold of you. That was, like, fucking amazing. It was. I know, I know. But I think they're gonna say that you need to do 20 minutes.